this is the 11th construction video podcast and today we'll be looking at understanding the ambiguous case in the construction of triangles. Now this is actually one of my uh, favourite constructions and what we're going to be doing today is we're going to construct a triangle where the base is 9 centimetres, one of the length is going to be 5 centimetres and I'm going to have an angle of 30 degrees. So the first thing I'll do is I'll actually measure 9 centimetres and we'll label that as 9 centimetres. I'm going to measure an angle of 30 degrees and I'll do that from this side over here and okay using my crossbow using my zero and I measure 30 degrees which is here and I will carry that length on going through the 30 degree mark because I'm not quite sure where my triangle third side is going to be okay. and I will label that as 30 degrees now the length from here is going to be 5 centimetres and you'll see why this is called the ambiguous case once I start drawing the arc. So I'm going to measure 5, so just open my compass needle here and I've got 5 I'll start my arc here but look what happens This length of 5 centimetres actually cuts this 30 degree angle in two places, here and here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to ignore that for one moment and my 9 centimetre base, my 30 degree angle and let me just measure this and I'm just going to turn my pad around and I'm just going to check and you can see that that is 5 centimetres so that's fine however I seem to have made a mark here where the arc which is 5 centimetres which is consistent with the 30 degree line and let's see what happens here and I'll use a different colour just see what happens and again turning that around and let me just measure and see if that is actually five degree, uh, five centimeters, and you can see it is. Now, there must be an explanation for that, and the explanation for that is that first of all, the notation for this is side, side, angle. In other words. 9 centimetres, I can have this as 5 centimetres, this is also 5 centimetres and I have the angle of 30 degrees. Now this appears to be quite complicated but what I'm going to do momentarily is I'm going to cover the second triangle up and can you see that I have a side, a side and an angle. And the reason why this is called an ambiguous case is that out of one set of tri uh, instructions you can actually get two triangles side, side, angle and previously everything that we've done has always been congruent to each other however that is not the case when we are given a side, side and angle 
And now, this would be a, a higher question, and the examiner would be looking to see that you acquired the ability to actually recognise that out of one set of instructions, there is actually two triangles that you can construct.